The question is, well, first of all, the question is, where are the carts? Carts? Maybe cart? Maybe not cart. But the real question is, will we or will we not get kicked out of Kroger for recording? <laughs> what about that cart? That free. Stray cart. Grab it. Let's do it. Let's cart cam. Alright humans, we're going to do the best we can with the lighting that we have, which is super subpar, but we're going to show you what we got for a nice little weekend trip at the grocery store. So most of the time I'll bring my Icon meals, but off season, you know, I'm a little bit more lenient, but to be honest, even whether I'm off season or I'm actually prepping, I pretty much eat the same foods. So we got some yogurts, we got some light fits. They are 80 calories, 12 grams of protein per yogurt. So these are really awesome to eat in the morning or eat for a snack. I grabbed some of these Home Chefs. Uh, we got a bunch of different ones, to be honest. They were pretty high in fat, so I only got a couple because these were the only ones that weren't like a billion grams of fat. And even these are a little bit high. So for this one, 18 grams of fat. Um, 64 carb, 24 protein, so it's not bad, but it'll be easy to grab and go. I'm, I'm kind of low fat right now and super high carb, so I only got four of those. We got some Ben's Ready Rice, and this is all they had, so then we got some of this random brand of rice, but Ben's Ready Rice is always a good grab and go. You can stick in the microwave. Got some strawberries and blueberries, a little coffee creamer for coffee in the morning, some honey for some rice cakes, and we got some peanut butter for rice cakes also. So normally you guys already know I get the core power drinks, but they didn't have those. So we're going with two different, completely different brands I've never had before. So we'll see how this goes. But I like to have protein shakes so that I can drink my protein if I don't have time to heat something up. Got some stevia for my coffee. I have some of these tuna packs that I can just rip open and eat since I'm going to be working the uh, booth this weekend. I want stuff that's easy to grab and go that I don't need necessarily need to microwave. I brought pre-workout, but I also got some bangs because we're, we're going for that crackhead energy this weekend. I got some hot sauce. I've never had this one, but I was told it was really good. So we have hot sauce for our meals. Himalayan pink salt because I put this on literally everything. I salt all my foods to the, to the max. And then you guys already know I've been having a hard time getting my carbs in, so I have full calorie Gatorades. I have some of these Nutrigrain bars, which are great in the morning, great carb source. We have a ton of chicken that will stick in the microwave. Some bagels. We'll be able to go downstairs and use their um, toaster, so this will be super easy to grab and go in the morning. And of course, rice cakes, you already know the jam. I got some Tupperwares so we can bring some food with us to the booth. And then of course the most important part, we got two bottles of wine. So that is all we got for this weekend. I think we spent like 200 bucks, which is not too bad considering how much food that we got that we're splitting between three people. So yeah, this is, this is eating and traveling. This is what we got. I know when you're traveling, it can definitely be tough to stay on track, but my biggest advice is to make sure that you are either packing your food or you hit the grocery store when you get there for one of two reasons. Number one, you can stay on track with your nutrition, but also number two, you can save a lot of money. Going out to eat for every single meal when you're traveling really freaking adds up. So make sure that you're hitting the grocery store, you're keeping protein high, you're keeping water high, and you're keeping movement high, and that'll help you guys stay on track. Thank you so much 
for watching and staying tuned in the, the days in the life of my YouTube. Glad that you guys are a part of my journey because we have prep starting pretty soon. So I've been pretty on top of everything. We're still eating in a crazy surplus, still not doing a ton of cardio, but lifting heavy and getting the job done. So we still had to stay on track with our nutrition to make sure that we're repairing that muscle mass because you guys need to remember when you're working out, when you're training, you're breaking down muscle, you're not building it up. The only way to build it up is through protein consumption and rest and recovery. So don't forget to subscribe. Click on that little bell so you never miss a fit tip for me again, a vlog again, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.